Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Old Cream Team video, guys. And I have some pretty good news in today's video. So, first off, we have the EA Celebration Pack. I will go over that. I will open it on camera, of course. We have some news regarding tomorrow. Now, sorry for the super late post, guys. I've been working on the side, some other stuff as well, so I've been super, super busy, as well as some stuff I had to handle with the dog this morning, the poodle, actually. So I was actually a little bit, I was pretty busy today, but we're finally caught up, guys. I'm ready to go. Hopefully, you guys do see this video around 135, 140-ish, give or take. But guys, I'm super excited to get into this video. First off, if you are new to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Liking and commenting does help the channel out tremendously, so make sure you guys are liking. Comment down below, let me know what you guys got out of your EA Celebration Pack if you did get one the EA Play. Second, second point, if you guys have not checked out my new sponsor, I highly recommend you do, guys. They are super cheap. If you use code Poodle, you can get a million coins for in like the 50, 40, 60 buck range, depending on, you know, the console, the time of when you actually purchase it. This new site, super cheap. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I, I do. You guys can build a God Squad for a fraction of the usual online prices. Highly recommend checking them out. But that's about it. Uh, let's head on over to the EA Celebration Pack and talk about actually what I want to bring up first. So guys, Wild Card Wednesday is tomorrow, which means you will be getting power-ups is what they announced. Now, initially, Cradle had went over the fact that we'd be getting it from a specific promo, which we kind of assumed would be like the all-rookie promo. Sadly, maybe Campus here is one of those. But then, as of this morning, he did announce that maybe he was going to uh, post the team that we did get power-ups from promos, which is plural. So that would be some past promos, if you guys know. There's some players that you may want. Here's the thing, right? Here's my thinking. If they give us power-ups for one promo, and it's the all-rookie promo, I'm content. If they give us power-ups for just campus heroes, everyone's upset because those players aren't exactly that usable right now. Now, if they give us multiple powers from different promos, they give us some all rookie ones we need, some campus here, then we're all happy, right? Because at the end of the day, that's how, you, that's how you please everyone. If they give us just all rookie, people who can afford the brand new cards, like, you know, any of the meta cards that are there, we're happy. If they give us just campus here, only a small fraction of theme teams may be happy. If they give us campus hero and they give us some all rookie and they give us like 25 power from multiple different promos everyone's happy theme teams are happy um budget teams are happy meta teams are happy it, it completes it for everyone which is i think super important at this stage in the game especially this late uh, you know keep, keep the people on happy right if it messes up the market a little bit or it affects you know their quality of work at their all i don't really know keep everyone happy because this is the these are this is your loyal fan base people still playing are loyal definitely keep them happy that's just my opinion now what i would like to see would be a justin jefferson power up is one specific team of the year power up i think a lot of people want Corey lindsley's you know some of the linemen because again if you pulled any of these free team of the year players the thing with most people are whatever you pull every year whenever you get those free uh big players like that you always want to power them up because you're stuck with them they're a free good card might as well spend some money and power them up right so if you got justin jefferson or some of the offensive linemen that don't have it jesse bates a few guys that we'd probably want to see with the power up i hope they do incorporate wildcard wednesday's power-ups for those guys specifically because it is important you know it kind of sucks if everyone got team of the year players that can be powered up and then you got that one guy that can't definitely a bummer now we go into the all rookie promo specifically i know there's a few guys here that we would like to see as well if we go now it's all rookie it's right here um patrick queen one of the rookie premieres does not have one would be cool to see him get one makai becton as well would be nice to see him get one. raekwon davis some of the biggest guys here don't even have him james robinson's the only one but he's not even that great you know, not one of the guys you're probably taking. Uh, of course, Edger and James has one already because these are the LTDs. Jeremy Chin, a guy that we definitely want to see a power-up with, right? A power-up gets him to 96 speed. Um, that, that's huge. 96 speed, 99 XL at 6'3". That would be a huge impact on his card. I mean, obviously, his zone won't get to 99, but his man will. That'd be a great card. I mean, he needs the power-up. You can't be giving us all rookie masters without power-ups. Now, a guy that's needed a power-up literally all year, and I cannot stress this enough, all year chase claypool chase claypool had one of the most dominant team of the week cards dropped at his specific time and sadly without a power up it wasn't as dominant as it should have been now again once again if he gets a, if he gets he's six foot four if he gets a power up guys he's a 97 speed scratch that with sprinter he's a 99 speed so they give him a power up guys this card can get 99 speed 99 jumping at six foot four that is ab that's absurd he can get 99 catch in traffic 99 spec catch and 99 medium and shore out running 99 medium short spec catching traffic and jumping and speed at six to four this card would be absolutely dominant not to mention behind the card he can still have he's a little stiff arm he'll get above 90 juke actually decent carry um 
break tackles actually a 90 guys this card would be probably the best wide receiver in the game or at least up there for it right and that's just like why why get tyree kill i mean i know after the catch right but chase claypool has that speed he ha he's crazy he's a crazy card six foot four he has, he has everything you can want in a card in one i think it's super important they do incorporate a power up for him but that's about it for that guys those are pretty much the ones i did want to cover there now if we do go on lower you guys do know there's some more down here that we have to worry about like cd lamb definitely should have a power up again these cards would be more usable with the power up cd lamb swift mccall walker um let's see let's see cameron dancer actually isn't bad he is not bad he has a 94 speed if you give him a power up guys he gets a 95 speed 96 excel with 99 man zone and press and his speed can then be sprinted to 97 so 97 with 99 man zone press and zone i'm sorry man so you know like you create you suddenly create a bunch of really usable cards so i hope they do go that route i hope they do take advantage of that again it is tomorrow i don't know how much change they will implement in that short window of time but we do hope now here guys here's the pack we're talking about ea play celebration pack you open that up guys i believe from what i from what i saw if you guys see this is a free team of the year player pack so we're into the pack now it is a free team of the year fantasy pack now as you guys do know it's every single team of the year player that did get released but they are not of course they are not but but it is still pretty cool that we get to get a free one and even better right had it been a fantasy pack of three would have been a little bit more annoying because of course what if you got let's just say right you get three guys the special guy you don't want the defensive guy you didn't like and the offensive guy is the same one you already have nat that's it you're stuck you you, you wrote another ruined pack for you right at least this time you could pick anyone that fits your team and especially i think this is important too right this is the reason it's so important when they gave us this pack originally whatever even if it was a bad player right you still got one of the highest players in your team right because team of the year was new 96 overalls were some of the highest overalls at the time but now we're in march we're getting to 98s 99s 97s right so you give us a pack of russell wilson dalvin cook and waller and we don't like any of those three or honestly there's a good chance they can't even start in a team now you go through your team your entire defense offense special okay my whole offense is chemmed out don't need anything i am missing a good tight end i'll go with darren waller i'm actually missing and let's just say we go on forward right i actually do need a left tackle that's the only spot on my team i was gonna buy by him or you have a left guard you actually have quentin nelson on your team i'm gonna sell him and take this one right there's so much potential to really improve your team here now i personally won't make this pick on camera because of course guys this is gonna be a tough decision right there are so many i really don't know who the best one is to take again it all comes down it all comes down in my opinion to your team so i can't tell you who to pick personally who's still applicable if we had to really think about it if you don't have a quarterback russell wilson will get the job done i don't think dalvin cook's a good option darren waller is a great tight end now i would compare but it's unbelievable it still doesn't work darren waller is not a bad option uh justin jefferson does get a power up tomorrow he could be decent all the linemen any of these linemen if you guys don't have linemen pick them up if you do have linemen and they're auctionable maybe sell them and replace with these that's a great way to make coins right if your linemen cost you 150 250k go sell them put this guy right in place of it you just made 250k off this pack and then moving on to defense i don't recommend any of these guys maybe khalil mack maybe uh just barely jamal adams if you guys don't have a good strong safety yet jamal adams is still super super good uh patrick ricard just as a fill and fold like if you're like so meted out like your team is like 99 overall god squad weekend league type esque and you just have nothing to just take the fullback toss him in there uh just to have him right to make your team look cooler kicker and punter same thing if you have that super jack team i'd probably go one of these three uh fred warner no any of these guys pretty much here no like i said best options if your team's super stacked you go one of these three if you actually have a team that can have a few roles either fill the roles or go like i said with guys that are meta like jamal adams uh maybe khalil mack any of the linemen and maybe darren wall but that's about it guys I'm not going to make my pick now. I need to do some time. To I need some time to think about that because that is a hard pick. A lot of options there. So hopefully you guys did get that pack. If you do have EA Play activated on your account and you did not get that pack, I highly recommend you go contact EA, uh, EA support, EA.help, whatever it's called, and make sure you do get that pack because that is a really good pack. Super generous, although you technically do pay for it, right? Like 60 bucks a year, give or take 30 bucks a year, depending on if you do the yearly annual payment or the monthly five bucks. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, let me know down below in the comments who did you end up taking. Did you get this pack? If you have any issues, again, say down below and I'll see if I can help you out with that. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys are um, you guys like the video. And like I said, if you guys do need coins, check out my new sponsor. You won't regret it. Super crazy cheap prices. And don't forget to use code Poodle for the additional discount so you don't actually end up getting screwed off and missing that too. You know, just letting you guys know. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.